Chapter 161 Eating Sweet Food A few days later, in Food Heaven City. Dad hurry. Zoe dragged her father. All right, let me pay the entrance fee, as Stefan said helplessly. After paying the money, the guard gave him two bracelets. Please wear these at all times. What is this? It's a purifier, it will ensure that you always stay clean. Oh, right, as Stefan unconsciously nodded. Dad hurry. What are you doing? Zoe urged, just outside the city, she was already salivating. Hmm, were these first? Soon, the two entered. If outside, they could only smell fragrant aromas, then going inside was like a full-blown banquet. Strangely, the various smells didn't overwhelm them. Instead, they seemed to calm them down, making them even hungrier. What is this? Zoe looked at the crystallized chocolate fountain. Zoe imitated someone and broke the cup-like design, scooping up the brown liquid in the fountain. So sweet, Zoe muttered satisfiedly. Is it delicious? The boy she imitated earlier asked. It's so sweet and delicious. Try putting this, the boy said, taking out an embedded crystal in the fountain and putting it in the cup of chocolate. Like magic, the cup of chocolate color seemed to become lighter, emitting steam. Zoe, like a good student, repeated what the boy did. So sweet and creamy, Zio seemed like she was dreaming. I'm glad you like it. By the way, what's your name? Zio asked. Nathan, and you? I'm Zoe. Hmm, nice name. How about I show you around the place? Sure, but my father. Zoe looked at his father and was speechless. Her father seemed to be smoking some fragrant tree fruit, shaped like a stick. That's a cigarette tree. Although it's fragrant, it's addicting. Oh, I will inform my father first, Zio said. I'll wait. Dad. I will tour around the place first. Are you all right here? Go on, it seems quite safe here, Stefan nodded, inhaling the cigarette. It seemed to calm him down. Furthermore, it was quite a nice appetizer. All right. Zoe happily ran toward Nathan. It's your kid? A chubby man next to Stefan asked. That's right. What a cute kid. You must be new here, right? By the way, I'm Francis, the grandfather of the one next to your kid. That's right. I heard that there is a Moonlight Academy here, and I was hoping to enroll my kid. Then yours must be a talented kid. That's right. Stefan smiled proudly. Let's go, it's the kids section here. I'll take you to something more delicious, Francis said, standing up. But my kid. Don't worry, see whose kids have parents by their side here? This city is specially made for children. Its safety index is the best in the empire, Francis said, stroking his belly due to hunger. All right. By the way, what food do you particularly like? Nathan asked. 1203. I don't know, but I like sweet things. By the way, what food do you particularly like? Nathan asked. I don't know, but I like sweet things. Then it's not far from here, Nathan said, leading Zoe. Earlier, Nathan was with his brother Max and Ella. However, Ella seemed to like some savory food, so she dragged Max away. Unfortunately, Nathan liked sweet things, so he didn't join in. With nothing to do, he came to the chocolate fountain to get some drink and then met Zoe. Seeing that she also liked sweet things, he couldn't help but invite her. Soon, they came to a gigantic tree. This is the high trend food source. It's the appetizer if you like sweet things. Wow, it smells so sweet. Zoe unconsciously broke off a branch and put it in her mouth. Huh? So yummy. I could eat this forever. Zoe muttered some words and chewed on barks and leaves like a sheep. I know, right? Nathan nodded and also took a leaf, then dipped it into the sap. What is that? Zoe squinted her eyes, seeing Nathan eating differently. It's the sauce. Without the sap, it would be missing something. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Zoe said and followed Nathan's movements. Wow. It's ten times better. It's like a dream come true. Is there other delicious food here? Hmm, there's still a lot. Can you take me around for today? Please, Zoe pleaded. Sure, Nathan unconsciously smiled. You're finally smiling. I thought you had facial paralysis or something. Nathan smiled stiffly and returned to his stoic face. That again? You should smile more, it's more handsome that way. Straight face. Do you want to eat other things? 
Yes. Then stop chattering. Yes, sir. Two months later, in Baron City, a large number of unknown ships approached the port. The city quickly became alert, activating the defense array. Don't get closer. Identify yourself. Landon, who was in charge of the city, asked. Although he was only Tier 3, controlling the city's formation, he wasn't scared unless it was Tier 7 or higher. We have no malicious intentions. We are here for the transaction with your emperor, an envoy said. Transaction? Don't get closer, wait for confirmation, otherwise there will be consequences, Landon warned. Maximus gave the command code, to be activated only in desperate times. As for what it was, Landon didn't know. Landon quickly messaged Maximus and got a reply, saying to wait for him. A while later. I've met your majesty. The envoy from the Arinder Empire greeted. At ease, it seems that Arinder really needs money, a Maximus smiled. Coming here, he examined the ship's array and noticed a large number of people with the lowest tier 1 strength. Indeed it is your majesty, the envoy humbly said. I guess you already know the routine? Before they arrive in the city, they need to sign a contract. It will state that they have to stay here for a hundred years. And under no circumstances can they harm anyone in my territory. If they have a problem, they can appeal to my court, Maximus stated domineeringly. They have already been informed, your majesty, the envoy said. Speaking of this, the Arinder Empire went to great lengths to persuade people to come here. The greatest incentive, of course, is money, they paid them 10% of what Maximus would pay them. It might seem like a scam, but just 10% of the money paid by Maximus could already buy 10 of them. The reason why Maximus needed such a middleman instead of paying the money himself is that he can't. Openly soliciting people from other empires might trigger a war. As for people from various kingdoms who have no strength to fight, it's inefficient. Anyway, it's not the main defense, it's the tier 8 puppet hidden in 1209. The dark. The transportation alone is already an issue. Cedric is already occupied transporting people from the Sun Sea region alone. As for consigning to other sea caravans, either they are owned by other empires or are too weak. Since they're already informed, then it's fine, Maximus smiled and had Landon lower the defense array. Anyway, it's not the main defense, it's the tier 8 puppet hidden in the dark. Once these people from the Arinder Empire do anything funny, he will let them know why flowers are red. Soon, about a hundred million people lined up to register and sign a contract. The foundation of the Moonlight Empire is indeed shallow, Maximus sighed as he observed. Just the number of ships transporting the people from the Arinder Empire could already overwhelm the Moonlight Empire. Cedric was able to transport one billion people at one time because of the proximity of the Sunsea region to his territory. Otherwise, if it's farther away, he may not even transport a hundred million people. A day later, with the efficiency of his subordinates, they registered all the people. How is it? There are 95 million tier 1, 3 million tier 2, 10,000 tier 3, and 25 tier 4, Landon reported. The envoy by the side listened and nodded, confirming the numbers. That will be about 12.6 billion, Maximus gave a smile and happily transferred the money. This was nothing to him now. His shop in the Arkan continent could earn about 3 billion per month. His empire could generate more than 2 billion when he converted the virtual money to system points. There were also no other expenses except for the array in the empire. As Shadow Hunter City was already generating revenue for its construction. The only pity was that he couldn't use the Origin Arana Institute 99.9% .9 here. Thank you for your patronage, your majesty. The envoy said excitedly, examining the payment. Although it wasn't much, it was a start. It could be said that this amount was more than their monthly income in the arcane continent in the past. Hmm, I'm looking forward to our next transaction, Maximus smiled. After the people signed contracts and registered, he felt the amalgamation of will become stronger. The enhancement was three times stronger than when Cedric brought a billion population. Then I will see your majesty again three months later. The envoy hurriedly left, hoping to report to his emperor as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, Maximus was notified that the map application he had instructed more than half a year ago was finished. The map is finished? Chapter 162 Tier 5 Mystic Mage The map is finished? Maximus quickly returned to Moonshadow City. You finished the application quickly, Maximus praised. This is because of the ingenious rune inscribing artificial intelligence you created, leader, Sereb said excitedly. 
In the official student trial in the Wasteland world, Sareb was mainly in charge of various robots and their programs. Seeing the rune inscribing AI his leader created gave him some wonderful ideas. It's also your credits. I'll triple your credit reward this time. Leader, can I instead study here? Sareb pleaded. You want to study this thing? Sareb hurriedly nodded. Then you can upgrade it as well. This is the program system I compiled, Maximus said, tossing him a book. Thank you, leader. Hmm, Maximus just nodded and activated the map application. At Moonlight Academy, two students were walking leisurely when suddenly their tokens vibrated. Huh? Is there a notification from the school? Timothy muttered, seeing his friend also take out his token. Timothy was the most talented student in the academy after Amara transferred to the arcane continent. Unfortunately, it didn't take long. After billions of people came to the Moonlight Empire, the academy was flooded with various talents, forcing them to have stricter criteria. In the past, you could study at the academy if your talent reached rank 3. Now, it needed to be at least rank 4. Furthermore, you needed to pass various tests to be eligible. This? An application update? Timothy said loudly, breaking the stupor of the other students. I can't believe that there will be a new application even after all these years. I thought, your majesty became lazy. Hey, it must be that it's hard to create a new application. Timothy continued to chatter, not noticing the students looking at him gloomily. They couldn't bear anyone insulting their majesty. Pack asterisk. Xavier, his friend, patted him heavily, breaking his chattering. Huh? Seeing Xavier look at him meaningfully, he looked around. Uh, I didn't mean to criticize his majesty, Timothy quickly apologized. In truth, he was a self-proclaimed number one fan of the emperor. He was just excited, don't mind, Xavier helped smooth things out. The students also knew the two, so they were lenient. If it was a newcomer who insulted their majesty, then they were in for a beating. The school didn't explicitly prohibit this, as long as there was not much damage. Timothy and Xavier quickly escaped and began to study the new application. Moonlight map? Click through the app. They saw a replica of the Moonlight Empire. Whoa! Wow, is this a real-time map? Timothy muttered, seeing a red dot that represented himself. Is this my home? Looking at his home from the above perspective is somewhat new. Hey, I didn't know Mother created a garden in the backyard. Seeing there was a search function, he tried to search for his hidden rich man friend's properties. Wow, Brother Xavier, you're so rich. Timothy was shocked. Looking at the dots like stars, his mouth salivated, imagining such a huge amount of money. It's nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Looking at your property, you must be the richest in the Moonlight Empire. Indeed I am, Xavier admitted. With his genius mind and the empire's perfect rules for business, he became a millionaire unknowingly. This is in crystal credits, equivalent to magic crystal. It can be said that Xavier's wealth surpasses those tier 4 that just came to Moonlight Empire. What? Why didn't you tell me? Hearing his friend's confirmation, he was still shocked. Furthermore, a few days ago, you asked me to treat you to a meal. How dare you, a rich man, rip me off? Timothy complained endlessly, like a mother-in-law. All right, all right, I'll treat you the other day, Xavier sighed, covering his ears. Ha ha ha, you should be. I'm your one and only best friend. Timothy laughed happily. Two months later, Maximus looked at his system panel. Maximus Shadowcrest. Soul Tier 4, Elemental Mage, Level 1. Body Tier 5, Lunar Knight, Level 1. Soul Amplitude, 4755. Soul Will, 417. Life Points, 151. Potential Points, 14,522,167. Condensed Soul Path, 1,115 Elements. 1118 Types of Tier 3 Spells, Proficient, 178.4 billion slash 330 billion. Only three more elements, Maximus muttered. With the amalgamation of will that he could convert every day worth millions of system points, his progress in training was enormous. Chaos, creation, and fate. While one could practice time or space with only 575 1211. Complementary elements slash. These elements were the three supreme elements that surpassed even the time and space elements. While one could practice time or space with only 575 complementary elements slash. 
Mastering the supreme elements required mastering all the basic elements that made up the world. Chaos Affinity, Rank 0 Trash 0 slash 10 million. Creation Affinity, Rank 0 Trash 0 slash 10 million. Fate Affinity, Rank 0 Trash 0 slash 10 million. So many. Maximus was overwhelmed. It should be noted that other basic elements only required at least 10 points, with the highest being in thousands, to upgrade to rank 1 common affinity. Now I can have 200,000 potential points daily. Plus about 10.5 million points I can convert with the amalgamation of will. Maximus calculated the points he needed to upgrade these three supreme elements affinity. One month. I just need a month to become tier 5, Maximus grew excited. In just two and a half years, he could upgrade from tier 4 to tier 5. Furthermore, it's condensing all elemental soul paths, not just advancing with two or three elements. I need to accumulate origin energy, just in case. Maximus thought. Hopping into grind on the ancient battlefield non-stop. A month later. Potential points, 335,173,237. World's Origin Energy, 160,827. Maximus opened his eyes, having finally accumulated enough potential points. Huh? Fighting is really exhausting. Maximus had grown numb to the endless fights. It had come to the point where his fighting had become instinctive. If in the past he had to think carefully, now his body automatically moved to the optimal position. This can also be regarded as training, Maximus sighed. After all, even with his transcendent mastery in fighting, it was all in his mind. He could only execute it perfectly due to his control over his body. Turning toward his panel, he first upgraded his supreme element affinity. Chaos affinity, rank 2 uncommon 0 slash 1 billion. Creation affinity, rank 2 uncommon 0 slash 1 billion. Fate affinity, rank 2 uncommon 0 slash 1 billion. Unfortunately, I can only reach rank 2 affinity. Maximus had no time to wait to upgrade his affinity to a higher grade. His only solution was to use a large amount of world's origin energy. This energy was equivalent to a day's worth of training. With more than 160,000 units of origin energy, it was equivalent to training for about 450 years non-stop. I hope it's enough. Maximus closed his eyes and tried to add points. A few days later, in the city of Arcana, suddenly a huge commotion erupted. The mana throughout the entire city began to agitate as if it finally found its source. What happened? Is someone breaking through to Tier 9? The city's inhabitants reacted. But the phenomenon abruptly stopped as if nothing had occurred. Huh? Maybe it was just a mana surge. It should have been a mana surge. The people reacted and dismissed the event, realizing they had only been imagining things. At the highest point of the Tower of Arcana, someone succeeded in condensing three supreme elements at once? Dean Fialon muttered. He first calmed the agitated mana with a wave of his hand before investigating the source. Soon, his perception landed on Maximus. Maximus Shadowcrest. Fialon recalled. As expected of a core student, Fialon nodded proudly. Fialon himself had only managed to condense one supreme element, which was chaos. With the combination of 11-15 basic elements and one supreme element, his darkness origin power was one of the strongest in the world. Unfortunately, you're practicing a defective cultivation method, Fialon muttered, noticing the mana calculation Maximus was using. From tier 1 to 3 you absorb mana. From tier 4 you condense elemental paths. At tier 5, cultivation differs and requires delicate care. At this stage, you need to weave all the mastered elemental soul paths into one, marking the beginning of your path. For example, Fialon had condensed 1115 elements into the darkness element. From then on, he could only use the darkness element. However, because of the combination of the 1115 elements, his darkness elements were stronger than the supreme elements. The reason Fialon considered Maximus's chosen training manual defective was because its goal was greedy. Instead of concentrating all condensed elements into one, the Gaia's primal origin diverged all these condensed elements to be independent. Although you could use all elements, the flaw was obvious, they were weaker than other elements. The only redeeming quality of this approach was that once you merge with the tier 11 branch of the world tree, the power of the diverged elements would be multiplied. 
but it was still weaker than elements that were condensed using more than a thousand elements. I should inform this brat so he doesn't waste his talent, Fialon decided. I hope that brat is not as stubborn as those three epics ago. Chapter 163 Origin Maximus slowly opened his eyes. Mastering all elements is truly different. Maximus felt that his current state was invincible. Every fragment of matter was just within his fingertips. Before he could rejoice further, the room suddenly transformed into darkness. Looking around, he saw the dean, Fialon, looking at him. I've met the dean, a Maximus hurriedly greeted. It seemed that his breakthrough had caused some commotion. Hmm. You should know about the flaw in your cultivation manual, Fialon said straight to the point. I do know this, dean, Maximus nodded. After reading all the chapters of Gaia's primal genesis, he had come to know its flaws. Then you should change quickly. I have my own path, Dean, Maximus said respectfully. He had already thought of a solution to his problem. Since Gaia's primal genesis had flaws, he would create a flawless one. He couldn't give up the thrill of controlling all the elements and concentrate on just one or two. It looks like you've already decided, Fialon sighed, seeing Maximus's determination. Seven years later, there will be a one in an epic world competition where all the top talents from three continents will fight. You need to participate in the Tier 5 competition. If you lose, obediently choose another cultivation technique, Fialon said, looking at him deeply. I will, Amaximus replied confidently. Good, Fialon nodded and disappeared. The room suddenly returned to normal as the door in his cultivation room was opened. Husband, his wives looked at him worriedly. Although the commotion earlier was quickly suppressed, they still knew the source of it was their husband. I'm fine, I just advanced, Maximus gave a smile. Advanced, they repeated in shock. Their husband's progress was astonishing. It had only taken him three years to advance from tier 4 to tier 5. In contrast, their progress was like a turtle crawling. After more than three years, they were still at tier 3, not even reaching tier 4. Of course, that was because they were laying the foundation, training both their souls and physical bodies. They also took care of their soul amplitude and soul will further strengthening their foundation. If they wanted to advance, it was just a matter of thought. Hmm, it's because of the amalgamation of will, Maximus explained his reason. His wives knew the amalgamation of will. In fact, they had recently been using this to cultivate. That's great, husband, you've become more powerful. Should we celebrate your advancement, husband? Then let's wait for the children, Maximus also smiled at their suggestion. At night, the place bustled with activity as various high-tiered foods were laid on the table. You're quite extravagant, Maximus, Denise said, picking up a piece of food. Even for Denise, she could only eat these foods from time to time. This is a celebration of my promotion. I know Denise rolled her eyes. Just looking at Maximus, she felt a slight palpitation. She felt that Maximus posed some threat to her. With Denise's tier 6 strength and foundation, it could be said that she was somewhat invincible against any tier 6 opponent. But Maximus, a tier 5 weakling, made her feel threatened. It could be said that a core student is a core student. Want to try a drink? Maximus offered, taking out a bottle. What is that? This is my own brewed wine. Maximus poured her a glass. Then let me try your craftsmanship, Denise said, taking a sip. Huh? How is it? What is this, so delicious and fragrant? Denise asked excitedly. She felt an otherworldly experience after tasting the wine. She even felt her realm loosen after the sip. Advancing to tier 7 is not easy. At this stage, it already had nothing to do with accumulation. Just combining the body and soul into one is not enough. You needed it to explode like the beginning of the universe. It can be said that advancing to tier 7 is like creating a universe from a singularity. Besides the accumulation, the most important thing is inspiration. It's a secret Maximus smiled. This wine's main ingredient was the sunheart fruit, coupled with other tier 9 ingredients. Although sunheart fruit had no aura, its taste overwhelmed any tier 9 food. Maximus thought it was a waste to eat it directly, so he made it into wine. With wine creation transcendent mastery and using life points to quickly age the wine, Maximus dared to say that it was the best wine in the world. Come on, give me all you have. Denise didn't hesitate and grabbed Maximus's arms. No, it's for me. Don't worry, I will pay you, Denise grew anxious. This wine could have helped her advance to tier 7 earlier. How could she not be anxious? 
Seeing Denise's pleading look, his heart softened. All right, but only one bottle, Maximus said. He only had ten bottles of this, so he was even reluctant to sell it, as he had planned. He had even looked through the Myriad World Mall for alternatives. But it was not omnipotent after all, there was no Tier 9 ingredient more delicious than the Sun Heart Fruit. As for Tier 10 materials, that was out of his pitiful budget. It could be said that the amalgamation of wool was really amazing. It was like a wishing tool that could give you whatever you wanted. Robert wanted the most delicious plant, and the amalgamation of wool fulfilled it by creating one. If not for his lack of system points, he would want to master it quickly. Thank you, Denise excitedly gave him a hug. Soon, the celebration continued. After the others got to know the taste of the wine, his wife seduced him into taking out the other bottles. With helplessness, all his reserve bottles were consumed. That night, Maximus vaguely remembered there were three extra people in his bed. Unfortunately, his system didn't recognize one-night stands, so he couldn't collect system points. A year later, Maximus excitedly looked at his newly created cultivation technique. Origin, an ultimate cultivation technique recognized by all dimensions. Such a simple name and introduction, but Maximus smiled widely. This was the system's evaluation, referencing all the cultivation techniques in all known dimensions. The technique he created was highly adaptable and limited only by the dimension you were in. In the Ethereum realm, there were only 1118 elements, so it could exert the ultimate power of those 1118 elements. Even if it's in a higher dimension, Origin will still be an all-encompassing ultimate technique. Huh? This is only tier 0 to tier 5, don't get too excited, Maximus calmed his breath. This year, he read all tier 1 to tier 6 cultivation manuals in the Arcana library, collecting all types of tier 1 to tier 6 techniques in his system. Finally, he used life points to master all of these, including various spells and techniques. Unfortunately, even after a year and using about 9 billion life points, he had only created techniques up to tier 5. But it's worth it. Maximus muttered. Not only did it lack the flaws of his previous technique, but it was also on a different magnitude. Furthermore, it trained not only his soul but also his physical body. Now he didn't need to switch techniques to train both his body and soul. The only flaw of the origin cultivation technique is that it's time and resource intensive. As for time, he didn't need to worry since there were various shortcuts, like origin energy and the amalgamation of will. The real challenge was resources. For instance, if the Gaia's primal origin needed to merge with a branch of the world tree, which was a tier 11 material. With origin he would then need to merge it with 1118 ultimate treasures corresponding to each element. Fortunately, the rank of the treasures only needed to match his own tier. Currently, he was tier 5, so he needed 1118 tier 5 ultimate treasures. Additionally, to enhance his foundation, he needed to integrate 1118 treasures from each tier he passed through, from tier 0 to tier 4. It should be noted that ultimate treasures were at least a thousand times more expensive within the same tier. Moreover, he didn't even know if they were available in his system. Maximus only knew that it would be a massive drain on his finances in the future. He had even tried to sell the origin technique. Unfortunately, the system informed him that only one person could cultivate an ultimate technique. This was also the reason why there were no ultimate techniques in the World Myriad Mall. Just create a technique, then sell it later, Maximus thought of an idea. Mastering all cultivation, spells, and skills to transcendent. Creating one was as easy as stretching his fingertips. Others couldn't do this, even if they had unlimited time. After all, they didn't have the cheat to directly master all the techniques to transcendent mastery. Even if they did, where could they find all types of these techniques? Just right, it's also time to set up a shop. Chapter 164 Dimensional Origin Library Deciding to establish his own store, he opened his system. Maximus Shadowcrest Soul Tier 5, Mystic Mage, Level 1 Body Tier 5, Lunar Knight, Level 1 Mana Compatibility, Rank 8 Supreme, 0 slash 100 million points. Soul Amplitude, 489,461. Soul Will, 41,170. Life Points, 1,128. Potential Points, 76,522,167. Crystal Points, 123 billion. Myriad World Mall. Upon opening the Myriad World Mall, he registered his store under the name Shadow Eclipse. As for what to sell? 
Maximus filtered categories like cultivation, spell, skills, techniques, professions, and various others. Anyway, he could still edit it later. Regarding the elements, he inputted all 1,118 elements of the Ethereum realm. After all of that was all studied and mastered. According to his system, the strongest dimension, capable of producing tier 11 individuals, had over a hundred thousand elements. As for higher tiers, it's out of his cognition. After all even his system only came from a tier 11 dimension. After configuring all the criteria. He also put a note that the Shadow Eclipse store offered a customized cultivation manual service. Finished. Maximus looked at his work. As for other things like delivery and services, they were all automated. Looking at his empty self, he fell into thought. Why not sell the books in the Arcana library? Maximus suddenly thought. Creating the technique himself to sell would be inefficient and foolish. Right, I'm such a genius. Maximus smiled proudly. Now the only problem is production. The paper and books needed to imprint knowledge were a bit troublesome. It wasn't just a matter of printing and being done with it. The paper was special and the books required an engraved mini-formation. Just buy them in the system. With over 100 billion in his pocket, he felt confident. His empire now had more than 33 billion in population, providing 11 billion system points monthly. His shop in Silver Leaf City had also expanded, generating 5 billion in profit per month. Soon, he found what he wanted. Universal Inheritance Hex Printer, Tier 6 a one-for-all tool for printing and publishing inheritances. Can print up to Tier 6 books. Price, 100 million. It's not too expensive, Maximus nodded and quickly purchased. Maximus' vast wealth had already distorted his consumption habits. Normally, a tier 6 item would cost only tens of thousands, but he considered 100 million for a tier 6 item to be cheap. Looking at the printer in his system storage space, he began to initiate the printing process. System, start inputting information. Maximus manipulated a part of consciousness as it began to connect and transmit information. All the information he had learned and mastered began to print immediately. As for the paper, it was the sea of books he had previously purchased. Anyway it was useless, as all the information was already imprinted in his consciousness. It was better to recycle such waste paper and save some money. After the book was printed, the system quickly placed it in his store. Just when he examined the store, Maximus accidentally saw a book he had previously bought from the system store. And to his surprise, it was accepted. Huh? I can still sell this? Maximus read the rules, which stated that any knowledge or information bought in the Myriad World Mall could not be resold. With the dimensional law and rules overlooking things, there was no such thing as piracy. But what is this? Maximus muttered as he took out the book. Huh? My insights have also been printed? Maximus was enlightened. After transferring a part of his consciousness into the system, he simply let it do its job. Although it didn't have sentience, his system was quite intelligent. So that's why it was printed. It seems that his system decided to print it because it can be sold. Thinking of the possibilities, Maximus suddenly became excited. If the only thing he sold was knowledge from the Arcana library, he would surely become the richest individual in the Ethereum realm after some time. But if all the knowledge he bought could be sold, forget about being rich. Maximus would become the owner of the world's largest collection of knowledge across all dimensions. Damn! Maximus exclaimed in excitement. Maximus quickly returned to his store and edited its information once again. First, he changed its name to Dimensional Origin Library. He also removed the option for tailored cultivation manuals, deeming it redundant and unworthy of his time. Looking at his future infinite moneymaker, he smiled broadly. So slow. As he observed the books printing slowly, he furrowed his brow. Buy more printers. Since one was too slow, he decided to purchase more. Más 999 Universal Inheritance Hex Printers, Tier 6. Dash 99 So expensive. His heart finally winced in pain. This was already the lowest tier of printer he could buy. As for the others, they were too cumbersome and low-end. He didn't want to look back in the future and see the largest collection of knowledge in all dimensions selling low-end books. As he watched the books that had been inputted onto the shelves speed up by a thousand times, he was finally satisfied. If I have enough life points in the future, I'll master all the knowledge there is. 
Maximus vowed. After finishing with the store, he thought of his wives and children. He considered creating a tailored cultivation manual for them. Although he can't create an ultimate cultivation manual now, Maximus plans to create a technique involving all the Ethereum realm. As for their talent and time? With the resources in the Myriad World Mall, upgrading their talent was just a matter of time. He could also transfer his life points to ensure that they would live forever with him. Thinking of this, he smiled unconsciously. Let's begin. Maximus wasted no time in creating a cultivation method tailored for them. While Maximus was busy creating a tailored cultivation manual, someone finally visited his shop. What a domineering name, Azari muttered. He had just come of age and gained access to the Myriad World Mall. This was the Azure Domain, a Tier 11 domain. Almost all of its citizens could access the Myriad World Mall after coming of age. It seems to be a new store, Azari concluded as he looked at the items refreshing one after another. There must be a discount. Azari rummaged through the shop, searching for some kind of discount. What a cheap store, he couldn't help but complain. A shop that had just opened without offering a discount or promotion must be some low-end shop. However, when he looked at the expensive prices that were a thousand times higher compared to most books at the same tier. Combined with the domineering name that led him to the shop, he became curious. Azri bought a tier zero book to see the difference. Huh, there is an insight directly through transcendence? Azri was shocked. Transcendent mastery wasn't something easily achieved. Even for geniuses, achieving transcendent mastery was nearly impossible without a sudden epiphany. It must be because it's only tier zero, Azri thought. He didn't quite believe it, so he bought one book from all tiers in the store. It will make achieving perfect mastery easier. Soon, he read the books from tier 1 to 5 that he had purchased. Impossible. Azari looked unbelieving. While having a book with transcendent mastery insights wouldn't instantly make him a transcendent master. It will make achieving perfect mastery easier. I should tell the clan leader. Azari decided. Initially, he had wanted to monopolize this discovery. But seeing his empty wallet, he could only turn to his family. Furthermore, since it was in the Myriad World Mall, sooner or later, others would also find it. A month later. Finally finished. Maximus exclaimed looking at the cultivation techniques scattered on the floor. Tisk, it's not easy. Initially, he thought it would only take a few days, but due to his ambition, it took much longer. He didn't want his family's path to end at the Ethereum realm. Drawing from his experience creating Origin, he managed to create a pseudo-ultimate cultivation manual. Furthermore, he left some key points so he could upgrade it in the future. By the way, what about the shop? Maximus wondered. Opening his system, he accessed the Myriad World Mall. Dimensional Origin Library. Stock, zero. Income, 3,412,378,183,000. What, three trillion? Maximus was dumbfounded. This was more money than he had ever seen before. With this amount, he basically didn't need to worry anything about financial matters. Of course, that was because he had a 99.9% .9 discount. If he used it to buy from the system, it was still just pocket change. Seeing such a huge amount made him tremble as the mana in his surroundings became turbulent. Is this real? Maximus questioned, becoming dazed. After a whole day of silence, Maximus finally woke up from his stupor. He realized that he still wasn't that rich. Although, with a 99.9% .9 discount, his trillion was equivalent to a world quadrillion. He didn't dare to withdraw such a large amount of money. The origin of such a thing is hard to explain and may expose his sitem. However, the smile on his face didn't fade. This was just what he earned in a month using a thousand printers. Looking at the stock that was going up and down. Maximus deduced that the demand exceeded the suppy. He he then by more. Más 34,000 Universal Inheritance Hex Printers, Tier 6. Chapter 165 Choosing Special Physique. A month later. Pip. Pip. Maximus opened his eyes as his token vibrated. What happened? He asked Tintin. Your wives broke through to Tier 4. Oh? So fast? Maximus's eyes lit up. A month after giving his wives the tailored cultivation manual, they unexpectedly broke through. He knew the condition of his wives and could break through at any time. But as they were polishing their foundation, they held back. 
It seems that it's effective, Maximus muttered. Worried about his wife's foundation. The cultivation manual he created absorbs various treasures as substitutes, strengthening their foundation. Looks like I should also start training. After he finished creating the origin, he was distracted by all kinds of things. He also took his time to relax before formally starting training. Let's see how many units of world's origin energy I have. Maximus tapped on the ancient battlefield in his profile. Lord Grimm, rank 5 gold. Battles, 512,135. Wins, 512,131. Losses, 4. Ties nulis. Battle power, 513,532. World's origin, 13,936,163. I don't know how much this will get me. Maximus used less than 200,000 units of world's origin to advance from tier 4 to tier 5. Now, from tier 5 to 6, Maximus couldn't calculate how much he needed. Furthermore, his training manual was more demanding in terms of energy. Before he started training he sent Ragnar a message. Maximus, I will train first. Ragnar, oh? Is it going to take long? Ragnar, it's boring fighting alone. Maximus, good luck with your fight. Ragnar, hit me up after you finish training. Maximus didn't bother to reply further. A year ago, while he was creating a cultivation manual, Ragnar dragged him to fight in the ancient battlefield. They grouped together and fought. Sometimes they also took Silas and fought 3v3. Maximus only fought from time to time while waiting for his system points to refresh. But Ragnar was immersed in it. Unless Ragnar lost and had a cooldown, he would not stop. This also caused Ragnar to be the rising star in the ancient battlefield, with over a million battles in just a year. As for Maximus, he was hailed as the Grandmaster Fighting Encyclopedia. As long as he fought, people would flood in to watch, hoping to get a glimpse and learn his fighting style. He also earned billions from the live streaming fees per month, which he treated as pocket money. Before training, he wanted to upgrade his mana compatibility first. This is also why he didn't start training immediately. After all, the difference between rank 8 and rank 9 talent is enormous. He didn't want to waste the world's origin energy he had painstakingly accumulated. Mana compatibility, rank 8 supreme, 0 slash 100 million points. Potential points, 1,033,573,283. Over a billion potential points. Without hesitation, he began to add points to mana compatibility. Plus 100 million pp. Mana compatibility, rank 9 primordial, please select a special physique. Ha, huh, I get to choose? Maximus thought that this was automatic. Curious, he looked at what special physiques were available. Chaos Body, ultimate physical embodiment of raw, unpredictable chaos. The physique of unpredictable destructive chaos. Elemental Body, ultimate become the embodiment of all elements, making them your servants. Ethereal Body, ultimate can pass through anything from physical reality to virtual dreams. Dragon Body, ultimate the embodiment of physical indestructibility. Time-space body, ultimate the control over time, from speeding and slowing time to intervening with the river of time. Void body, ultimate the master of the void, the endless space that holds all dimensions. Nexus link body, ultimate the link to all beings with consciousness. The pathway of dimensional causality. Dimensional source, ultimate the source energy of all dimensions. Looking at all the physiques that reached the ultimate level, Maximus nearly drooled. Maximus hoped to have all these physiques. Unfortunately, after he thought so, there seemed to be some premonition in the dark that destroyed this thought. Why can't I have multiple physiques? Maximus frowned. Seeing no one to answer him, he took his time choosing the most powerful physique. A day later. Hug Maximus breathed heavily as he finished browsing through the physiques. What to choose? Maximus was torn between the time-space body, nexus link body, and dimensional source. With the time-space body, he could basically control time. From speeding up to slowing down, even going back to the past. Of course, granted he was powerful enough. As for the Nexus Link body, it was basically the casual type of law that connected all living beings. If he was powerful enough, he could connect through all dimensions, becoming the Ethernet, becoming the pathway for the exchange of information. Of course, it was more powerful than that. But controlling the connection points of all dimensions, there was already a lot he could do. 
As for the dimensional source, it was the source of energy for all dimensions. Basically, with this physique, he could have unlimited energy. Time space, no. He already had life points, although he still didn't have much control over it, it was enough. Furthermore, the origin he created mastered all the elements. After he condensed the laws of time and space, it was almost the same. Nexus link body, no. Maximus finally decided to eliminate this physique. He had a hunch that the one who created the Myriad World Mall had this physique. He was worried that he would be detected by the creator. Such a powerful being that managed to create a trans-dimensional platform was unfathomable. Its dimensional source it is, a Maximus chose. Energy is the driving source of everything. With unlimited energy and the origin he created, he may possibly imitate these physiques. When he tapped through the dimensional source body, a panel popped up. Not enough points. You also need to pay? Maximus was speechless. After looking at the potential points needed, he sighed in relief. Fortunately, it's only a billion points. Potential points, 972,073,283. The amalgamation of will he received per day was worth over 38 million system points. Plus the 200,000 he received from his children. Wait for a day. A day later. Maximus excitedly tapped the system to activate the dimensional source body. This time he was ready. He placed a tier 9 concealment formation within the room. This small formation, which covered only this room, was worth over 100 trillion. It was almost all the income he had earned from the sales of his shop in the Myriad World Mall this month. Furthermore, it was also the cheapest kind that only had a concealment function. He also cut off Tintin's connection to the main token to be safe. Soon, the dimensional source body began to merge with him. Streaks of mana that came from within the void seeped into him. In the void just outside the ethereum realm. The void energy began to transform into pure mana and seep into the ethereum realm. Huh? What happened? Various peak powerhouses within the ethereum realm began to notice this phenomenon. Upon further investigation, they didn't find the probable cause of this phenomenon. Nonetheless, they were excited. Although it seemed like the Ethereum continent had unlimited energy, it didn't. It was finite and stagnant. The void energy outside the Ethereum realm was unreachable and unabsorbable. The reason why the Ethereum realm was stuck was because of this. How could it advance to a higher dimension without outside stimulation? The only thing they could do to upgrade the Ethereum realm was to make its energy a higher quality. Hence the full-blown prosperity of knights and mages. With every mana they absorbed and released, the energy became of higher quality. With every death, the energy they released was of higher quality. Although it may seem insignificant, quantitative change leads to qualitative change. Now, seeing that energy coming into the stagnant ethereum realm, these apex powerhouses seem to see the dawn of their world advancing. Three months later. Huh? Finally absorbed. Maximus felt unlimited energy overflowing from his body. After trying some mana-intensive spells, he felt that his mana didn't even budge. He also tried circulating this mana to hasten his training but failed. It seems that this unlimited mana can't be used for training. After that, he tried various things, testing the limits of his physique. How truly amazing. Maximus truly felt invincible. Unlimited forbidden spell. Hiss. Imagining his future enemies, he could only pray for them. Done with a brief experiment, he looked at his talent. Mana compatibility, rank 9 supreme, dimensional source, 0 slash 1, 0 0 0, 0 0 0, 0 0 0, 0 0 0, 0 0 0, 0 0 0, 0 0 0. Looking at the zeros, he had already given up on upgrading his talent in a short while. Maximus deduced that after his talent was upgraded to rank 10. The dimensional source body would provide him with unlimited law energy. As of now, only his mana, soul energy, and physical energy were unlimited. Before he started training, he connected Tintin to the main token. Bip. 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 His token vibrated almost immediately, sending him messages and news over the past three months. It seems that something happened in these three months. 